this is what happened. Completely shattered. Started preparing for East IES over the week. That's because we expect storm surge, street flooding, wind gusts over 65 miles an hour. New Jersey alone with more than 1 million outages. Their nature not kind to New Jersey Tuesday as high winds uprooted trees and toppled power lines from one town to the next. It's flowing. what happened. Completely shattered. Glass everywhere. Completely destroyed. So my assumption is that something came from that trash can over there blew right into this window and cracked it. And I should probably go inside before anything else comes flying. It's absolutely crazy right now. But this is the aftermath. And now I gotta work with insurance and hopefully this is covered. All right, so it's time to take care of this. I got my gloves when I removed the glass. I called the insurance company again just to try and figure out what my game plan should be. I realized for comprehensive, I have a deductible of $500. This window only costs about 210 bucks uh, with shipping and taxes. So it's cheaper for me to just do it myself. So I thought I was gonna talk about insurance, but now I'm just gonna be replacing this and showing you guys how to fix a broken back door window. So, here we go, cleaning it up. So we're trying to get all the glass out because if we do slam the door or shut the door, open up the sliding door and shut that, more glass is gonna continue to fall. So I'm gonna try and get as much of it off as possible while we wait for the, the window to come in. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I'm building a wall of tape that has adhesive on this side and adhesive on the front side. The inside, I'm gonna use this cardboard as kind of like a structural foundation, if you will. And then I'm gonna put a trash bag on the outside and hopefully tape it around the seam where the bead of urethane is. So we'll see how it goes. This is what I'm doing. Clearly I've never done this before. I hope to never have to do it again. But here we go, completely DIY. All right, so we have the cardboard on. It's on pretty strong. I have taped a lot of this window to hopefully keep it intact. Duct tape would have been better, but every store is closed right now with power outages, so I don't have an option. This is just packing tape that I have. And now I have some adhesive here, and I wanna put the trash bag on. So far, this is how it's held up. Not too bad. And now I gotta just finish the rest. Okay, here is the finished product. So we got the cardboard on the inside and we have the plastic trash bag on the outside. 
I ran over to my neighbor's house who was nice enough to lend me some duct tape to seal up the stubborn corners that did not want to get stuck to the window or the tape didn't want to get stuck to the window. So I have a mixture of masking, packing, and duct tape. If I had duct tape, I would have used probably a mixture of that and the, and the masking tape. You don't want to put duct tape on the paint because then you're gonna look at, it'll leave a residue and it could scratch your paint or tear your paint off the vehicle. So you don't want to do that, but on the glass, we're gonna replace it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And the masking tape hopefully will be fine for the paint. I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll see how it goes. But so I am hoping that I'll get the window from Van Windows Direct by Friday. Today is Tuesday, so fingers crossed for Friday. I can install this over the weekend because this is not pleasant. I want to get this on as quickly as possible. So this repair job is held together for about two weeks and it rained a lot and we have literally no water inside so i'm super stoked how it turned out again we use duct tape packing tape painters or masking tape a trash bag of cardboard on the inside and it worked out pretty well so if you ever run into this situation and you need to seal it up while you're waiting for glass then uh you know this might be the best way to do it so now i'm just gonna take everything off and prep the window to replace it. So I just took off the cardboard and the plastic obviously. Now I need to remove the urethane but before that I have to get all of the excess glass off the urethane and then I'll be taking a razor blade to scrape it off. Definitely wear glasses and shoes and gloves when you're doing this because it is nasty. I'm bleeding. Battle wounds. Wear a long sleeve, maybe. Ooh. Oh my god! Alright, so finally got all of the 3M window weld off, at least to the best of my ability. So there's a thin layer in some areas, some spots I got it down to the primer. When I talked to Van Windows Direct, where I got my window from, they said to get a razor blade, which is exactly what I did, and just go down and try and scrape as much as you can off and try and get the thinnest layer possible. Once you get the thinnest layer, next step is to clean it off as much as I can. I'm gonna use some glass cleaner, then I reprime it, and then a new bead of 3M window weld all the way around, and then we'll apply the pressure again. One thing to consider is taking off this rubber seal, which goes along the trim of the window. So if you followed my installation video and put these on yourself and you have an issue like we do, then take that off and then use the razor blade because you can get much closer and it's a lot easier. But this took about two hours, maybe two and a half hours to completely remove all the glass and the urethane, so it's a pain in the butt. And make sure you have really sharp uh, razor blades. Clean it off with some glass cleaner, and I'm gonna just paint over the scratch parts of the window so it doesn't rust when it gets wet. And then we will apply the urethane, or the primer, then the urethane. Not fun. Not fun at all. So I'm just applying some Rust-Oleum two-in-one paint and primer to the little scratches made from the razor blade getting off the, uh, the urethane. So we just want to make sure that we're preventing rust by painting any, any scratches that's going to be hidden anyway from the windows. Alright, now we're just putting on this black trim thing. What do you call it? Trim, I guess? I have no idea. Alright. Taylor is now putting the primer on the old urethane and the old primer. So we're just going around the same line that we did and we'll just wait to let this dry. You want to be really careful with this stuff because it is pretty potent. What does this do? This makes the urethane stick really well to the window and it makes it really difficult to get urethane off 
your window breaks. <laughs> but it's worth it. You definitely want to do this. So just like last time we insulate or installed yes, this, we did. we're going to start our bead right here. Oh, God, it's bright. We're going to start our bead right here and then go all the way around. And we'll do a continuous bead. And then as we come up, we'll bring this to the inside. So if water goes around here, gravity will just continue going down and not come over. What is going on right here? I'm thinking the same thing. All right, here goes this bead. We'll see how big it is. Critical mishap. <laughs> Move the ladder so you can open the door. I forgot to move it back. <laughs> and now we can't reach. And there goes my continuous bead, so. I mean, I didn't move the ladder. So I'm just gonna do, since I have a little bit of extra, I'm just gonna fill the top because this is gonna be where most of the water is gonna penetrate the window. So you wanna build your defense up the largest on top of the window. So that's what whoa, we're gonna do. Mind you, he just got done getting all this off. He said we put a real lot up there. Yes, <laughs> I did. I'm not gonna, and now he's doing the same thing. I'm not making the, yeah, I'm not taking any chances with leaks. So going for it again. Six years later, he finally thinks it's good. We can put the window on. How do you get the window? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, let's line it up. I got an awesome tip by a subscriber, JG. So thanks for the tip. It's a great idea. Put your suction cups on the inside, bungee them, so you got constant tension. All right, so now I'm gonna test the window with water and make sure there's no leaks. All right, so now I'm gonna test the water from the inside. I got my shirt. No water marks. Probably should have picked a lighter color, but no leaks. We put a lot of urethane on and uh, we definitely have no issues. So window weld, urethane, whatever, same thing. All right guys, so that wraps up this van build episode on replacing our passenger side rear door window. If you have any questions, let me know. Going through the insurance would have took a lot longer and it would have been more expensive because we don't have comprehensive glass coverage. We would have had a $500 deductible and it just wasn't worth it. We got our van window from Van Windows Direct. It was about $210 out of pocket. It took two weeks to ship and that's because of you know, all the shipping uh, problems that's going on in the world. But yeah, overall pretty easy and just make sure if you're replacing it to get all of the excess glass and urethane off. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you got something out of this video and we'll see you next time.